Heidi ho neighbors, Rado Goji here, and welcome back to Squeeze the World Lego Marvel Avengers. And uh, when we last left off, um, we were almost done with the story. We finished up uh, Iron Man 3 and Thor Dark World, and um, now we have one story left. Now the eagle-eyed viewer will note that um, I may have a few more. I have a few more studs than I did when we last left off, and that is because I actually replayed one of the levels uh, off-screen. Um, uh, the no strings on me level because um, of the fact that we did that in um, basically I split it up into two different sessions and because of that the um, the the, uh, the trophy didn't pop when I beat the level so I basically just redid that so that I could get the trophy and it did pop. Um, also I'm going into this with a lot more fresh knowledge in my head of the Marvel Cinematic Universe because I've been finally getting around Project to Inside. watching them all. Um, for a, I, uh, a, a friend of mine actually owns most of the movies, and I borrowed them from him, and um, I also cool. am renting the ones that he didn't have, There's and I'm watching through Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, um, I started off uh, playing, or playing through, or not playing through, watching, um, the, uh, I watched the, like, the phase one, because you know they have them in phases, phase one, two, and three. I watched phase one, um, well, I watched in production more. order, but, like, the phase I'm two, I started watching them in, like, you know, Let's start at the timeline order Captain with, like, putting the, um, exercise was interrupted by a mission to rescue putting through the, uh, putting the, watching the movies, um, the crew had been captured like, in between episodes of, uh, of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and I still don't know who Agent Williams is, if he's even a thing. If he's just a, a character that he, uh, um, that they made up for the game. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I uh, actually, before I started playing this again, I just got done watching uh, Winter Soldier, so basically I just saw all of this happen. So it, it, it kind of seemed fitting. Hold on, Cap. I'll find a way to get you up here. I feel like I'm going to sink right to the floor. Uh, so yeah. We're on the basically the, this is the beginning of the, uh, the beginning of the movie-ish, um, where we are uh, playing as uh, Captain America, who's down in the water right now. I'm fairly sure that he can get up, or I guess we have to let down a rope or something like that. But we're uh, also playing as Brock Rumlow, who is the head of the Strike Force uh, for Shield, um, and they're doing fun mission stuff, like saving a bunch of S.H.I.E.L.D. operatives from some pirates. Um, I also noticed, um, when I was, when I was replaying the, uh, No Strings on Me, uh, level, um, there were some, um, some things I didn't notice before. Uh, the, I, I, like, when we, in the, in the first scene there, I don't really know why I'm, <laughs> this is kind of a, uh, we need to get to a moot point at this point because we've we did that like a long time ago. But I think I may have mentioned that the uh, that the uh, the grabby arm thing looked like he had a chicken hat or something like that. But that's supposed to be a dunce hat, and I, I, I realized that as I was rewatching the Iron Man movies that um, the grabby hand uh, is labeled as dunce, <laughs> or uh, yeah, he's got a, a, a classic American dunce hat on him, but. Um, I guess that's a more British-looking dunce hat or something. I think that's a British thing that they used on, the, on that level there. And also, the guy that, at the bar that um, that Natasha was talking to, that was Bruce Banner. I didn't I didn't even notice that until I replayed the uh, replayed the level. Um, but yeah, we're on a ship again. We're on, uh, constantly on on ships in this game. I suppose. Uh, now this is the last level uh, of story that we need to do. Um, I guess technically, I'm assuming that there's going to be a, a bonus level. There usually is um, with these games. When you when you clear all the story missions, then you'll unlock a bonus level that has nothing to do with the story, um, but it's just kind of a neat thing. Uh, usually, where you end up in some in a lot of the earlier games, you ended up in some kind of a, uh, a huge world made entirely of Lego, and you had to, like, destroy things and, and manipulate things to get a million studs. Um, I don't know if they're doing that here. Um, they didn't do that in Lego Marvel 
or in Batman 3, I think. I don't think that they did that kind of thing with those. Well, you know, they did do it in LEGO Marvel, because, because you played as Galactus. Um, I just don't remember doing it in LEGO Batman 3. And that was the last of the main LEGO games to come out, other than LEGO Dimensions. Because I know that LEGO Dimensions and the and like the normal licensed LEGO games are actually developed by two different teams. Um, so I don't know if... Uh, I don't uh, cause I know LEGO Dimensions certainly didn't have it. Uh, its bonus level was stupid. Um, but uh, the bonus level... In, I don't remember if, uh, what the bonus level in LEGO Batman 3 was off the top of my head. But uh, after we're done with that bonus level, if I can... I gotta find the bonus level first. Um, but uh, after we're done with that bonus level, then we'll go on to free play, which is uh, probably the most exciting thing in a lot of these games. Um, the free play is, is, is usually really, really fun. Um, even more fun if it's, uh, you know, more expansive and whatnot. And this does seem to be, because... Um, as we've seen, there is the Manhattan Free Roam area is like the same size as the as the Manhattan Free Roam area in um, in the first Lego Marvel game, and um, the Manhattan Free Roam in the in, in the uh, in the first Marvel Lego Marvel game was the only free roam in the game, uh, and it seems to, like I said it, it's it's like the exact same map, so it's the exact same size, and it seems to have the exact same amount of stuff in it. But we've also got other um, hub worlds in Washington, D.C. There's one in Asgard. There's one in uh, the Barton's Farm, as we saw earlier. And uh, one in um, that would point to Malibu, uh, which is where, uh, where uh, Tony Stark's house is. Um, since we need Black Widow, but we don't have Black Widow. I don't know, is Black Widow in this level? I mean, she's in the story at this point. She's in the she's in uh, in Captain America: Winter Soldier. Um, I, I do still think that she and Hawkeye should get their own movies. I know that Hawkeye was actually made his debut in because uh, I had for, I had forgotten that uh, Hawkeye and um, and Black Widow were both in like other movies before Avengers. Um, I knew that um, Black Widow was a major character in uh, in Winter Soldier, but uh, I had forgot... Uh, well, actually, I didn't forget that she was an Iron Man, too. I remember she was an Iron Man, too. But I had forgotten entirely that a Hawkeye was in Thor. Like, he was a, he was a, uh, a minor, minor character in one scene... Uh, in one, uh... In one scene in, uh, in, in the first Thor movie. So that's kind of a neat thing. Do you have grenades, Brock? Do we have something that can destroy this? Oh, no, it's Power Cosmic, so we can't do that. Alright, let's destroy more stuff. As you do. And actually, it, it's kind of, uh... It is kind of, um... Oh, there's a thing over here we can, we can hit. Can we hit that or can we... We can probably jump up there. Come on, Captain. Let's go. Um... I noticed that the, um... The levels... Do, I don't know if they're, they're shorter than most or if it's just because we're, we've been destroying stuff, but I went through the, um, when I redid No Strings on Me, I re I went through that in, I don't know, maybe a few minutes, like ten minutes at most. So if you know what you're doing, and, um, and, uh, you basically just rush through, don't even try to get anything else, you can beat these levels, you can beat the story pretty quick. Um, you know, I just decided not to do that because, you know, if you can, yeah, as I said, as I said many times before, if you get... It's, it's better to get the um, the uh, the money sooner rather than later and have it, you know, save up over time. That way you don't have to worry too much later on about worrying about enough money to get stuff. Um, and as far as the free roam goes, I do want to go into the free roam because, like I said, that's usually the best part of these games. But at the same time... Uh, come on. There we go. At the same time, um, like, all the red bricks, if I remember correctly, are actually in the levels. And the red bricks are going to be not essential to getting, um, oh, well, actually, um, now that I think about it, I did actually write down all the trophies, because I am going for all the trophies in the game, even though you can't see them pop, uh, you can probably hear them over the microphone sometimes, and, um, 
you know, I but I'm still I'm still wanna, you know, show off how to get them. My phone will stop turning off because I need to see the timer at all times. I hate how it does that now. I, I can't switch it to do it more time than 10 minutes now for whatever reason. It's stupid. It used to be 15 minutes, and that's why I was able to keep it on for longer, but... Um, but that's my phone, and that's neither here nor there. Uh, I actually checked, um, and now that I think about it, there is no 1 billion or 10 billion or 65 million stud What's achievement, so... Um, now that I think about it, getting the red bricks is kind of arbitrary. I mean, yes, it does help get money, but it would help if I got the newly revealed switch. That would help out a lot. It would also help out if I could do the puzzle properly. So I'm going to have Steve grab onto this, and then take Brock, and then go take him to the other side. So anyway, um, now that I think about it, the red bricks aren't going to be that big of a priority. Um, I mean, there is a trophy that, where you have to get all the red bricks, but I will worry about that when we get to the um, when we get back to doing the story mode, the story levels in free play mode. Uh, that's going to be a thing that I'm going to do after I've done pretty much everything I can I can think of in um, to do in in. Um, I can't talk. Uh, in um, in the, uh, the sandbox mode, the sandbox areas, free roam mode at large, free play mode. I can't fiddle with thing. No, Brock can fiddle with. Oh god, god damn it! Okay. All right. I sent the wrong person over. I sent ba I sent over Captain America because you know Captain America's the star, and I figured that he would be more useful over there. But apparently not. Apparently we need to have the uh, this mercenary guy. Well, he's not really a mercenary. He works for Shield, but he may as well be a mercenary who mainly does gun to have him do computer because apparently if you can do gun, you can do computer. So what do? Oh, do I just push all the buttons? Oh, these are like the same colors as the uh, the loading bay door things down there. Okay. And that'll make platforms to go across so that <laughs> Captain America, who's spazzing out over there, can jump across. And it would make sense to have him do this because... Unlike Rumlow, he can double jump. Way! All right, now let's get on this elevator. Come on, buddy. There you go. I haven't raised a pirate flag yet. I've always had a soft spot for a skull and crossbones. Wow. Is that who Crossbones is? Is that who that is? Okay, I, I don't know. I still don't know who Crossbones is, by the way. I'm fairly sure there's a uh, an explanation for all of that, but um, that all the comic fans know about. But it, um, if if that guy is Crossbones, then okay, then I guess that's who it is. But I don't think that um, that they would you know mention anything like that just offhand unless they were making a pun or something like that. And you know the LEGO teams, they normally are. Speed up these bad guys really quick, because I am running out of time here. Let's just smash up some more things. Smashy smashy for the end of the video. Oh, these things are destructible, and they have things that we need to build. That's cool. There's another guy who's just slacking off. And another guy who's just slacking off. But I am out of time, so we're going to have to beat these guys up in the next video. I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you?